we're going to be studying today is timelines. We are going to be learning about how to use timelines, how other people um, use them, and how you can also make a timeline yourself. We did this activity in January, I believe, so it should be fresh in your mind still. A timeline shows different sequence of events. Sequence of events are the order in which things happen. You can make daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly timelines. Be prepared to create one and to present with your families. Remember, you can always share with me on Class Dojo. So let me get the story ready for you guys. All right. Oh, I need to have it like this. Okay, so using timelines by Margaret McNamara. So these are some pictures to think about. I see a clock here with two different times. One is 12 o'clock, one is 12.08. This is a digital clock. I have an, uh, another clock here, and if I am reading this correctly, the big hand is the minutes, the little hand is the hour, so 3.05. This one says 9.05. And then here is a calendar of the month June, the year 2012. I don't even think some of you were born then, so this was a very long time ago. Anyways, so we have the cover page here, and the words that we're going to, um, that we need to be thinking about, I'm um, sorry, the table, sorry, let me start over. So this is the table of contents, and here are all the chapters that are important. It starts with the words to think about on page two, the introduction on page four, chapter one is on page six, chapter two is on page eight, chapter three is on ten, chapter four is on page twelve, we have the conclusion, and then the glossary and index on page sixteen. All right, so words to think about. So we have six words here that are going to be in the story that we need to know. These are kind of like vocabulary words. So we need to know vocabulary words because we can read sight words. We're very good at sight words. But sometimes vocabulary words like this are a little bit harder to read. And if, we're, if we know what they say prior to reading, and we understand what the word means, then it makes the reading easier for us to understand, which is the goal of reading. We want to know, we don't want to just be able to read it, we want to know what the story is saying. So the words that we need to talk, um, think about here are event, an event happened long ago, future, will we have this spaceship in the future, historic, a log cabin is a historic, Oh, I'm sorry, this log cabin is a historic building. Illustrate. Drawings help you illustrate or show your thoughts. Past. These horsemen lived in the past or long ago. Timeline. A timeline shows when things happen. Introduction. A timeline shows events or special things that happen. A timeline also shows when these things happen. In this book, you will learn how to make and use timelines. This timeline shows what time things happen during a school day. So let's see. 8 a.m. school begins. 10 a.m. is recess. At 11 a.m. is this uh, is their computer time. At 12 p.m is lunch at 1 p.m. is story time and then at 3 p.m. school ends so let's take a look here it says this caption says what time is recess so let's go back here and look for the word recess what time is recess 10 a.m. it's is story time before or after lunch so let's see where story time is right here and then lunch is here, it's before it, so story time is before lunch. Chapter 1. A Timeline of a Week at School. Bella and Jay make a timeline of a week at school. First, they write each day of the week. Next, they write an event that happens on each day. Then Bella and Jay use their list to make the timeline. Last, they draw pictures to illustrate their timeline. The pictures help show what the words mean. You can see here that this timeline shows days of the week. Monday is gym class 
uh, gym class is another way to say PE. We just call it um, P for physical education, but it's pretty much the same thing. On Tuesday, they went on a field trip. That's fun. Looks like it's a museum. On Wednesday is the day they go to the computer lab. So when Mrs. Rodriguez was little or when your parents were younger, we didn't have Chromebooks in our classroom. We had to leave the class and go to another classroom called a computer lab. So since this book was made before you guys were born, that's what most kids did. But you guys are very lucky to have technology and I just open the cupboard and you guys get the iPads out or I just bring in the Chromebook. So um, this, in this case, these children here have to wait until Wednesday, until Wednesday to go to the computer lab. On Thursday is when they have a spelling test. You guys have spelling test Fridays. So they have it a day before you. And then on Friday, it says firefighter Dana at school. So they had a special visitor that day. Pretty cool. So it does look at the te look at text structures, sequence of events. The author uses the word first to tell the order or sequence in which events happen. What other words does the author use to tell the sequence of events? So you should look for uh, transition words. So we have, I see here, first, next, then, and last. We usually use first, next, then, and finally. But last is pretty much the same thing. Chapter 2, A Timeline of the School Year. Riley and Emma want to make a timeline of their school year. Some of the events have already happened. These events are in the past. Some of the events have not happened. These events will happen in the future. September 6 is when school starts. November 20 is when Thanksgiving is a Thanksgiving feast. December 15 is when winter break starts. February 14 is Valentine's. Uh, the Valentine's Day party. On March 6, they had a field trip to the zoo. On April 29th, they had a games day. And then May 29th, school ends. Miss Johnson helps Riley and Emma with their timeline. And then it says here, this timeline shows months and dates. So it actually tells you the month and the day. Chapter 3. A timeline of the United States. This timeline shows events that happened in the past. You can see when each event happened in the United States. Was the Revolutionary War before or after the Civil War? Was George Washington president before or after astronauts landed on the moon? Days, months, years. A timeline also can show days, months, or years. So let's read this timeline quickly. Before 1492, Native Americans lived in North America. In 1607, colonists settled at Jamestown. From 1775 to 1783, the British and the Americans fought the Revolutionary War. So I'm going to pause really fast. So how you read dates before the 2000s is you say the first two numbers, so like 17, and then you say the last two numbers, 1783. You can also... because I mean, you can also say, um, you don't really say year 1783. We don't really say it like that, so you could just say 1783. Moving on, George Washington became the first U.S. president in 1789. From 1861 to 1865, North, the North and South fought in the U.S. Civil War. This was around the time when Abraham Lincoln was president. And then astronauts landed on the moon in what year, friends? 1969. And we read, about, we read about that. Hopefully you remember that. Mr. Neil Armstrong was the first president to step foot, was the first astronaut to step foot in the moon. All right, let's go ahead and finish up. Chapter four, a timeline of famous buildings. The timeline shows historic, the timeline below shows historic buildings from around the world. The, the timeline shows when people built these buildings. The timeline starts with the oldest building, the timeline ends with the newest building. Which building is the newest? Oh, man, I read that wrong. Sorry, friends. Which building is the oldest? We have it here. And which building is the newest? We have that here. So starting with the Great Pyramid of Egypt was built about 4,500 years ago. Wow, that is a long time. 
that is in Africa and Egypt. And then we have this. The Great Wall in China was built about 2,500 years ago. This was so long ago, friends. Then we have the Colosseum in Rome in Italy. And this was about 1,900 years ago. Here in the United States, the Mesa Verde in Colorado was built about 800 years ago. And then about 600 years ago, the Machu Picchu. Uh, Machu Picchu was built in Peru. I really want to see this. There, My sister went and she said that there are a lot of cute alpacas or llamas there. They're so cute. And then the Taj Mahal in India was built only 350 years ago. So that is the newest building. And this is the oldest building. Okay, so in conclusion, timelines are a helpful tool. Timelines show when events happen. They help us understand our history over time. So there are four timelines here. Go ahead and read those to yourself. So some timelines show hours, some timelines show days, some timelines show months and dates, and some timelines timeline show years. So let's go ahead and go back over here, and I want to show you um, a timeline. That this is what we're going to be doing today. So you're going to be making a timeline of your life. I want you to draw a picture of who you were, how you were in the past. You could do this with uh, real pictures if your parents let you. Maybe they have some extra pictures around the house that you can cut and make. That would be really fun. So a timeline of the uh, a picture of you in the past, a picture of you in the present, which is today or recent. And then the future is you, something that we don't have yet. So this is we don't know what's going to happen, but we can make plans for it. So let me show you mine. So in the past, I was a first grader. In the present, I am a teacher, and in the future, I will be a little cute grandma. So this has not happened yet, so that's the future. So for the past, I put first grader, and look how I made my sentence. I made sure to stretch out my sentences as much as I could. So I use the, uh, be um, the beginning of my sentences, sounds similar, and you can feel free to copy those, um, but just use your own words for your own sentences that match your life. So. For the past, I put in the past, I was a respectful, sorry, let me get that out of the way. I was a respectful student. Present, a teacher. In the present, I am now a children to smart children. In the future, so here is me in the future looking so cute. I will be a grandma hopefully one day. So in the future, I will be a cute grandma that lives near the beach. So that is my dream. So what I want you to do, boys and girls, is this. On a blank piece of paper or any paper that you have, I want you to write this title. Timeline of my life. Then you're going to make three big boxes. And on top, it's going to say past. In the middle, it's going to say the present, and at the end, it's going to say future. Now, in these boxes down here, I want you to write who you were, who are you now, and who will you be in the future. And then at the bottom is where you write the sentences. I am so, so, so excited to see your amazing work. So please share these with me on Class Dojo. Um, I can't wait to see. So I'll talk to you tomorrow, friends. I can't, again, please, I'm so excited to see your work of art. Uh, share that with me when you are done. Bye, friends.